Math. Hello, everybody, and welcome to McCarthy Math 155. This is the fourth grade edition. And today is day 83, and we will be multiplying fractions by whole numbers. So for number one, we have our whole number of five, and the fraction is one fifth. Now, for this lesson, we are going to model using a drawing and using mathematics. So we've learned that multiplication means groups of equal things. We're going to have five groups of one fifth. So I'm gonna draw five as equal sized rectangles as I can, five groups. And now in each group, I'm going to draw one fifth. Okay, so I've drawn five groups with one fifth in each. Now let's see what happens when I join these together, okay? If I were to move this one and put it here, move this one and put it here, move this one and put it here, and move this one and put it here, I would have one whole piece. Out of these five groups of one-fifth, that would give me a total of one whole piece. So it is going to equal one. Here's the math that's going on. Five times one-fifth. We're going to change this five to five in the numerator over one because this really means divided by. So five divided by one equals five, right? Now we're changing that so we can multiply our fractions. So now we're just going to multiply across. And yes, for the denominator, we don't have to make it the same. So for fractions, when you add or subtract, your denoms must match, but when you multiply, you just multiply across. It's like taking an arrow and going achoo in the numerator and achoo in the denominator. So five times one equals five, and we're going to multiply across in the denominator. One times five equals five. And five fifths is the same thing as what? One whole, okay? So we proved that with a drawing and we proved it using mathematics. So our answer is one whole, all right? 